My silver focus on this channel has long been the physical metal, specifically the demand for it. Back in early 2013, during the height of the silver bear market from 50 down to 14, I noticed silver bullion sales making new record highs. That prompted me to graph silver bullion demand against its price, showing the two historically move in tandem. Silver's price and physical demand normally rise and fall together. But in 2013, as the price crashed month over month, physical demand surged, diverging dramatically on this chart. Unable to explain it, I nevertheless followed this divergence here on YouTube, as did several well-known analysts. In 2014, demand again broke all previous records, but the price fell to a level not seen in years. By the time of my 2015 year-end wrap-up, the divergence chart looked obscene, with physical demand spiking to nearly 50 million silver eagles, more than all the silver mined in the U.S. that year, and the price collapsing to under $14 an ounce. But that was the bottom for silver's price, and it has made steady gains this year, sitting at 18 and a half with eight weeks to go. We can project current data to find the likely total demand for the year. Are the price and demand back to moving in the same direction in 2016? No. As the price has come up, physical demand has fallen, something not seen anywhere else on this chart. In fact, if we zoom in on both price and demand in 2016, we see the exact point of trend reversal for both was in late June. After the best January through May of all time for physical demand, and lackluster price performance unable to break long-term resistance, demand crashed, and the price shot up to a level it hadn't seen since mid-2014. Many believe it was the surprise Brexit result on June 23rd, which sent a jolt not only into politics, but into financial markets around the world, including silver and gold. Regardless of the cause, it's clear that demand for silver bullion and its price continue to move divergent to one another. Will this pattern hold true in 2017? Is the EU really going to let Britain leave? What will a new US president mean for precious metals markets? The divergence chart can only show us the past, but one thing is clear, and that is the relationship between demand and price isn't random. There are patterns to be seen, and perhaps lessons to be learned. I intend to continue following it closely. Stay tuned to this channel for updates.